Thank you for downloading Ghost Browser. This is a very quick video just to show you the first couple of things that you should do. I recommend first you click Menu and then Bookmarks and go to Import Bookmarks and Settings. This is going to allow you to immediately select a Chrome profile and then import all of the settings that you have in Chrome, including your extensions. So this is a very quick way to get your extensions set up. You can select what you want to import and what you don't. Uh, the next thing is you need to understand how the basic functionality works. And here you can see I have two different color tabs. This is one Twitter account, this is Kat's account, and I'm logged in in a global tab. This is a new session tab, and I'm logged into my account here. So this is how the basic functionality works. If you want to get a tab like this, all you do is right click the tab and select duplicate with a new session. And that's going to allow you to get a green tab. Now if you collect, click new tab, it's going to open the tab in the same color that you clicked from. Let's see that one more time. So that's the basic functionality. Now the next thing that you want to make sure that you do um, and this is a new feature if you're watching this uh, the third week of November this is not out yet but it will be uh, shortly within a week probably all of the tabs that you have open you can save to a new project so here it says start new empty uh, sorry up here it says save as a new project you just want to select that and we can call this some Twitter stuff save it and then that'll be saved as a project so you can see here I have many other projects saved and I can switch to them. And everything is saved in the original tab that it was um, set up in. And then I can just e easily switch right back. So there you have it. That should get you started. And if you have further questions, please send an email to support at ghostbrowser.com. Thank you.